guys, in this video, we're going to show you the steps taken to rebuild a clutch and brake pedal assembly. We're also going to upgrade it and install a roller bearing kit. Carl has had several requests for more how-to videos, and we're so glad that you guys like them. So in order for him to get that done for you, I have offered to voice over some of his videos so that he is at the shop working on all the stuff that you guys love to see and recording. This is the original brake pedal housing bracket. The first step in the process is to remove the original bushing with an angle grinder. This is the original housing. It's been painted and sanded and the bushing has been removed. Here are some of the new parts that will be used on the install. This is the clutch return spring bracket and this is the clutch bumper. We're going to install the clutch bumper with a carriage bolt. Carl is installing the clutch bumper with the carriage bolt. Now Carl is installing the clutch return spring bracket. Now Carl is going to install the roller bearing conversion kit. A spring washer is being placed on the bearing, then installed into the housing. Now Carl is installing a large flat washer, which is held on by a spring clip. Here, Carl is starting to realize that it is not seating properly. Since the spring clip is not seating properly into the groove, we are going to try a pair of vice grips. Since the bearing is not fitting properly, Carl is going to try to install it on the other side. The bearing goes on easily with no problems. Carl finds that there was a burr in the metal which kept the bearing from seating properly. Carl puts tape on the installed bearing to protect it from metal shavings. Then using a rat tail file, he removes the burr. On the inside, he's using a flat file. Now the spring clip is successfully installed. On the clutch pedal, Carl removed all of the paint from the shaft. The paint is removed so it doesn't flake off and get embedded into the bearings. Carl is using wheel bearing grease to grease the needle bearings. Carl is installing the plastic bushings for the brake pedal. The clutch shaft is inserted into the first bearing. The brake pedal is being positioned for the clutch shaft to go through. A spring washer is inserted between the bearing and the brake pedal.
Carl is now installing the spring bushings. The clutch pedal is pulled forward to install the clutch spring. The clutch is then pulled down to make contact with the clutch stop. During this step, care must be taken because the spring is under tremendous pressure. At this phase, the clutch must be resting on the bump stop. The clutch pedal is being tapped to seat it completely into the housing. The retaining pin is now installed to secure the assembly. The last step is to install the clutch, brake pedal pads, and trim rings. And here is the completed housing. Stay tuned for an upcoming video showing this housing with a hydraulic clutch. Thanks for watching.